With a son who plays professional baseball, the Fegley family has enjoyed a lot of good times. And as sports director Rick Semler explains, Josh Fegley's success created special memories for one member of his family. Playing professional baseball for the Chicago White Sox has not only put Josh Fegley, but his entire family in the spotlight. I mean, I've heard from people all over the country, people I was in the military with. It gives me a chance to get back in touch with people I haven't seen for a long time. Josh's baseball success recently drew the attention of the Collins family from Michigan and got them thinking. Last year when we saw in the paper that Josh was playing, we wondered if that could possibly be John's son because we had lost contact with him over the years. And my husband went on the computer and found out that, yes, indeed, he was from Terre Haute. The Collins couldn't believe it. Back in 1977, they hosted three 15-year-olds from Terre Haute for the Babe Ruth State Tournament in Highland, Indiana. One of those three was Josh's dad, John Fagley, who's in the middle of the picture. When John found out the Collinses were looking for him, he reached out immediately. Within five minutes, I was on the phone calling them up, just wanting to know how they've been. Hey, it's good to hear from you. Since that phone call, John has tried to set up a meeting with the Collins family. He hadn't seen them since that week he spent with them back in 1977. Monday, after 37 years, they met again in Chicago before the White Sox game. When I walked out, I saw them, they saw me, and it was just nothing had changed. You know, it's like we'd, we'd seen each other every day for the last 37 years. The reunion drew plenty of laughs, even from Josh Fagley. You know, they pulled out the old picture of him, which is always comical to see him with hair because he doesn't have any anymore. America's favorite pastime has created memories the Collins and Fagleys will never forget. John was a character. Uh, one of the things I remember is they were out playing in the front yard and he broke one of the little panels on our light out there and I never had it replaced because every time I'd see it, I'd think of John. Even though it was nearly 40 years ago yeah. since they met, the Collins family says every now and then they talk about that week back in 1977.